Authorities in Mississippi say a suspect is in custody after eight people, including a sheriff's deputy, were killed in a shooting. Mississippi Bureau of Investigation spokesman Warren Strain said the shootings occurred at three separate homes Saturday night in Lincoln County. Strain says charges have not yet been filed against the suspect and that it would be premature to discuss a motive. It was not clear whether the suspect knew his victims before allegedly killing them. However, the suspect himself gave some insight into the events that led to the shootings in an interview with a newspaper. I a i n and a pose t fit to live, not after what I done, Corey Godbolt told the Clarion Ledger after his arrest. The newspaper recorded video of the suspect talking as he sat with hands cuffed behind his back on a roadside surrounded by law enforcement officers. Godbolt said he was talking with his wife and members of her family when somebody called authorities. I was having a conversation with her stepdaddy and her mama and her, my wife, about me taking my children home, the suspect says on the video. Somebody called the officer, people that the IDN and a pose t even live at the house. THAT and they possess what they do. They intervene. They cost him his life, the suspect said, apparently in reference to the slain deputy. I and they pose am sorry. The suspect also said he did not intend for police to capture him alive. My intentions was to have God kill me. I ran out of bullets, he said. Suicide by cop was my intention. Governor Phil Bryant issued a statement asking state residents to pray for the victims. He also noted the sacrifice made by law enforcement officers to protect and serve their communities. Every day, the men and women who wear the badge makes a measure of sacrifice to protect and serve their communities. Too often, we lose one of our finest. I thank the law enforcement agencies involved for their hard work, Brian said. White supremacist arrested in fatal stabbing of two men after anti-Muslim rant in Portland, Chicago was the only major U.S. city to lose population from 2015 to 2016 U.S. to increase number of refugees allowed in, reversing a sharp decline under Trump 7.40 a.m. This story has been updated with suspects' remarks to a newspaper and a statement from the governor. This story originally published at 6.35 a.m.